story tonight, the hepatitis A outbreak. Michigan is now dealing with the largest spread of the virus in U.S. history. There have been 815 cases in our state in less than two years. The vast majority of those have been in Metro Detroit. The problem is so bad that the state of Indiana has now issued a travel warning urging anyone who comes to Michigan to get vaccinated. We've been telling you about the hepatitis A cases at restaurants all over the area for months now. And we wanted to know, does the travel warning make you concerned about hepatitis A? Go to our website, WXYZ.com slash vote and share your thoughts with us. Our big story coverage begins with 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig live in Livonia tonight to show you what's being done to stop the outbreak. Kim? Uh, yes, David Glenda, Wayne County has been hit the hardest here in Michigan. And so tomorrow here at this senior center here in Livonia, there will be a pop up clinic for free vaccinations in the fight against Hep A. The deaths can occur because of liver failure. And that's one of the reasons why Dr. Ruta Sharing Pani, medical director for the Wayne County Health Department, says her team is on the front lines in the fight to stop the outbreak of hepatitis A. Wayne County has 308 cases, the highest number in the state, followed by Macomb County at 218 and Oakland County with 110 cases. We're doing clinics um, in places that we know that the at risk population are, so we go to home shelters to substance abuse facilities. Unfortunately, here in Michigan, health officials say we now have the record number of cases in U.S. history. From August 2016 to just last week, Michigan has 815 documented cases of hepatitis A, including 25 deaths. Hepatitis A is transmitted through fecal matter, so I mean poop. So our recommendations to folks are obviously making sure you are practicing good hygiene. And in addition to good hand washing, health officials say do not share utensils, food or towels and get vaccinated if you're in a high risk group, including injection and non injection drug users. Other high risk groups are uh, you know, men who have sex with men and then individuals who have been incarcerated. Symptoms of Hep A include loss of appetite, nausea and yellowing of the eyes or skin. If you feel that you have been you've been exposed to one of those high risk population folks or, you know, it you are concerned about it, definitely talk to your health care provider because that's our recommendation. Go to your local health department if you don't have a you know regular provider or you know call your health care provider and, and talk to them. They'll, they'll be able to guide you and, and let you know what you need to do. And tomorrow's free vaccination clinic will be here at the Civic Park Senior Center on Farmington Road at Five Mile in Livonia. And tomorrow's hours are from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. And check with your local health department to find out if there are any free vaccination clinics in your area. Reporting live in Livonia, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News. All right, Kim, thanks so much. And if you'd like to find a free vaccination clinic near you or details on the 800 confirmed cases across our state, just head to our website, WXYZ.com. The wrong side.